Hello there, Ilios45 here, and here's the second part of my uh, C++ database program, the new and improved one. Now, uh, what I didn't show in the last video, which if you haven't seen it yet, you should probably go back and see that, because in there we uh, set, up the, set up the menu in the main function and set up the input for the file. Now, uh, here are these. These are prototypings, and you need them because uh, uh, down here, in the switch case, whenever it says uh, it calls for these uh, functions, it doesn't know that they've been created yet because they're created down here. So you have to prototype them so that it knows that it's a function and that it will come across it later so you won't get an error. And so if you do that, you should be able to run the program, like uh, go down to debug, start debugging. And uh, there it is. That's the beginnings of it. Now you just put in one. And then name Rob Sal Smith and the age whatever twenty four salary fifty thousand and ID number one two three four five six seven that'll be the ID number for him now you need to go and find where it's saved at in your uh on your computer and you'll be able to take a look at it real quick now right there up there should be right here go to there and right here you should be right there uh it'll just input it as plain text in there then uh it'll be there so you can uh search for it later which is what we're going to do in this video now we're going to go down here in the in the uh, search function and we're going to start out with system, of course, CLS, to clear the screen of, of the prior text. And then we're going to go, um, actually I'm going to steal some uh, variables from up here. Okay, now you're going to have to create one more integer integer, I don't know, I always put throw on this one because it's just a throwaway integer, something to just hold, hold space for right now, which I'll show here in a second. Now, uh, C out. Enter employee ID number. There. Put a semicolon there for space. Uh, there we go. And C I N E M P I D. Now uh, they'll uh, allow the user to input the ID number that they want to um, see for the ver for the employee. Now here we're gonna go to as we did before string E M P I D two. Make that equal to two string and in there you're going to put EMPID now next you're going to put EMPID2 dot append to put uh, the dot txt at the end of it so inside of here you put dot txt okay now you're going to if stream and name the File, I don't know, just name an employee. And then inside of here, you're going to put EMPID2. There we go. Now, um, here, you're going to create a while loop. Oops, brackets there. Now, inside of here, you're going to put employee, and it's going to be if name. F name, M name, then L name. It has to be in the exact order that it was put in there. L name and then age. And then that throw comes in here because you already have the employee ID number that the, that the person inputted. You don't really need to have the uh, 
have it taken from the file, so you just create a random variable to take it out, to take it out of the file, but not really use. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to be doing a, uh, it's just going to get a little bit complicated here, so just try and follow along. Okay, so after this while statement, you're going to uh, create some integers. Uh, first one's going to be int and m name length. Then the uh, you're gonna set that equal to m name dot size. Oops, need parentheses there. And then uh, next, you're gonna create. Well, here I'll just go and copy this. Hold on. And you're gonna have to do it uh four more of these. Let's change this one to L and then F and this one's gonna be length total and it's gonna be equals to hold on. There, then just copy that, paste, plus that one, and plus that one. Now, what that'll do is basically it'll find the uh, size of the names, like the t it'll find the length of the first, middle, and last name, and then it'll uh. Uh, put this all into length total. I'll go ahead and just capitalize that. And uh, what that'll do is it'll return the total length of the full name. So whenever I do some formatting down below, it'll be able to um, be able to calculate how long the name is, and you can format a little better using that. Right, so next, I'm gonna go to create a string and call it a uh, answer. Okay. And then see out. Is this the correct employee? Yeah, and then uh, give them two choices like y slash n. All right, then end the line there. Then see out f name in the space. Then uh. M name and the space, then L name, then end line. So what that'll do is it'll uh, put out the uh, the name of the person that it found up up above, and then uh, it'll ask the user if that's the correct person before it displays their information. And then ask the user to input the answer. Then you're gonna have to do an if statement here. In the parentheses, you're gonna put answer equals equals y. So if the answer that was inputted is equal to y, then you're gonna display the rest of the information. So uh, clear the screen. CLS as always. C out. name. Now here's where we're going to use those uh, length integers from above. We're going to create a for loop and inside there you're going to put int y equals 1. Because uh, that's basically that's where it's going to start counting at and uh, y is less than uh, length length total. And there so it'll only count up to the to, to the total length of the uh, full name, and then uh, put y plus plus. All right. And inside the parentheses, you're gonna put a c out right like that. And that, what that'll do is it'll put a space after name, so that uh. 
um, before you before the next text is put on for the labeling, it will uh, it won't cover up anything else. It will just cover the name. All right, so that's it for that statement. Now you're gonna create a uh, another uh, for loop, or the first for you that see out of of course with the next set of text and put age and then put a put the next for loop and put int z or just lowercase z is equal to one semicolon z is less than uh, just use like a two. It'll just put two spaces for the age. That's all that all that should be needed. And then colon z plus plus. And inside here, you just put as a uh, same as before. All right, that's it for that for statement. Now the la uh, next one. Is actually you don't have to do a for statement for it. It's for the salary since the word salary is is big enough to cover the like cover the um, number. You don't have to put a for statement. Um, and that should be good right there. And then after that, see out. Uh, just put like ID number and end that line. for int x equals 1 semicolon x is less than length total and this is going to create like a like a border like a line between the text and the the data total and then you're going to add um add 20 to that because it'll uh there's 20 the length total is just the length of the name and then you just add 20 more dashes after that to cover the rest of the data colon x x plus plus and in the curly brackets just put c out dash alrighty now next um, is to just oh, let's bump that up there. Is um, see out a space and end line. It'll this will make it so that the uh, the data is on a new line after the uh, dashes. No, hold on, wrong space. Hold on, right after this. Now you're gonna. I'll put the information F name M name Oh wait space it would look like crap if you didn't have a space there. I always misspell that. Come on. There we go. Then L name Space, then age, then salary, space, and then, oops, then, uh, hold on a second, then the, of course, the ID number. And end that line. All right, now that should. All right, I'll need to put a after this system. There we go. System pause. And after that, put main. So after it's done, it'll take you back to the main menu. 
Okay, now that looks... Okay, right, I'll debug that and see what we got here. Okay, let's search. Seven. Is this the correct employee? Yes. There we go. Rob Sal Smith, age 24, salary of $50,000. Actually, if you wanted to, after uh, our... Now here when you're outputting the salary, if you want to, you could put um, dollar sign, then then salary, so that it will uh, it, it'll put dollar sign in front of the money. It, it's not that big of a deal, but you can still do it. Like that. Okay, now, uh, that should be it for this. Now I'll scroll through this so you can maybe just look over it again. I always make sure the order right here is correct or else it'll, you'll get some funky salaries or um, ages. Alright, that'll be it for the search function. Now next I will be doing the uh, edit function and then after that in another video I'll make a display all function. Alright, well uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, check out the next videos. And if, if you haven't, check out the ones before.